Hey guys, it's DT. Welcome to the full assembly video of the X-Men vs. Sentinel diorama from Iron Studios. If you guys missed the full review, make sure to check it out after this video on EvanTube HD. So this is the full assembly video. This is where you guys get to see me struggle putting these things together. However, we do have an instruction manual with this one. So this thing is pretty big, but it's not crazy big. It's not Devastator big. It's not XM Sentinel big. So I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. So for this guy, I'm gonna try and fit him on my 24 inch turntable. Uh, we don't need the five foot one for this guy. However, if I'm gonna get all three Sentinels up here, I think I'm gonna have to take that bad boy back out. It looks like the first thing we need to do is put up the two pieces of our base and connect them. So here we have this one piece and we can see uh, the two big pegs right here. And let's see if we have two big holes on the other side. I don't see two big peg holes on this side. So there are two holes on this one right here, but there are larger keys. I don't see any pegs, but it does look like it fits. All right. It fits in there. However, it kind of slides around a little bit. It does feel magnetized. Everything seems to fit on the Lazy Susan, so that's a good sign. The first step is to put the door on, which uh, if you guys saw the unboxing video, you'll see that it came in two different pieces. It's only supposed to be one piece, but mine arrived broken. So let's see if that makes a difference here. So here's where the key goes in. And this door is actually the door into the mansion from these steps. So this is kind of a unique piece in that my door actually can swing open. It does magnetize on this portion of the door. Um, so it adds a little bit of stability and I'm just gonna put it on there and kind of add to the suspense of this video and hope it doesn't fall over. We need to add another piece of debris. That's gonna go in over here, it looks like. There is a little indentation on the ground, but it's not really sitting flush with that. But this piece kind of hits the other pieces on the base, which prevents it from going down all the way. So it's not the greatest fit, but we'll see if it makes a difference once the Sentinel is in place. Now we need to put all the other little things that go on the base, including our little trash can. Looks like that keys in over here on the back side. We got the picture of the X-Men. Keys in over here on the back. Got this broken column. Looks like it goes back here. Looks like this one keys in up here. Here we have our little lamp post. Keys in back here. And then we have two more pieces of debris. Over here on the back, got a little egg. Goes there. All right, and this piece goes right next to it. And there is our base. And now it's time for the Sentinel legs. Now this thing kind of reminds me of the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz. Just kind of looking at all these little rivets and stuff. It looks like this one is gonna go right here. There is a little magnet on the heel. So you gotta watch out for these little pointy edges. So it is pretty secure by itself. There is a little bit of wiggling going on, but once we get this other leg in, I think it should be pretty solid. So this one has a peg on the bottom and we gotta be careful again with all this wood debris. At the same time, we're gonna line up where the top of the leg goes into the hip. So this is very similar to the way that Devastator was put together. This doorway is kind of making me nervous right now. I'm just gonna take it off. We'll put it back at the end. So this is a little tricky right here. Sometimes the pegs don't like to go in at certain angles. You have to kind of hit it just right it definitely helps sometimes to have a partner here, especially when dealing with some of these bigger statues. It's not wanting to fit. This seems vaguely familiar, but see how like when I lift up on this, the whole side of the base moves? I think they could have designed that a little better. As I suspected, sometimes you just gotta have that peg going at a certain angle. Now that I have this together, let's see if I can put this on in one shot. The back we know goes in fine. The front is a peg, so it's a little more tricky. Make sure that lines up, and there we go. Looks pretty good. It's not seated all the way on the heel. However, there's all this debris going on, um, so that you really can't see way down into those cracks. 
It does keep the bases together a little bit, but there is some wiggle here. Now let's throw this big torso on. Nice fit there. Then we have his arms. Got this right arm kind of reaching out. The left arm is down. And these shoulder pieces, the one with the ripped up metal goes in the front. And this cleaner one goes here. And that's pretty much for the Sentinel portion. Now you can't buy this Sentinel by itself without the other characters. However, it might be a little weird having all these little holes and tears and rips. There's also a big keyhole right here. I would think it would look weird. Now let's go ahead and stick the X-Men on now. So Cyclops is gonna go down here by the left foot. There is a little footprint in there, so you can see that. This foot fits in really well. And this big piece is gonna go into the keyhole on the leg, and it's gotta go also into his visor. All right, and there it is. Looks pretty cool. So pretty good fit on Cyclops, as well as the optic blast. Swing it around, let's put Jubilee on next. She's gonna go up here. You can see a footprint there as well. And Big square peg. He's got this kind of leaning back pose. Uh, we got Wolverine busting through the front. Again, square pegs on these guys. And this one's gonna go, I believe, right here in the front. It's pretty tight fit, which is a good thing. But here it is. Just so just like the XM Studios, Beast is up on top. I'm hoping this uh, shoulder is pretty secure because that's all Beast is connected to. And then finally we have Rogue who has a square pin in her right thigh and that's going to go right here on the Sentinel's chest. And it looks like she is punching it in the face. And that's pretty much it for the instructions. I was looking through the packaging, it also had some of these 3M tissue tape. Maybe to put somewhere so the parts don't rub, but I'm not really sure where those go. We also have uh, Wolverine's other hand here. Another thing I noticed that I don't really like is that you can actually see this little blue piece under Wolverine's fist that kind of goes into this clearer material. And then uh, finally, let's add back the door. And that just goes back like that. So this is pretty much how it looks. Click here if you guys want to see my full review of this guy along with my thoughts on how this stacks up against the XM, X-Men vs. Sentinel diorama. Thanks for watching this extended assembly video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.